Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. My name's Ash, and today I'm going to be doing a review of The Magister on Xbox consoles. Now, this was released on the 3rd of the 9th, 2021. Now, it's developed by Nerduk and uh, Bromeo, and it's published by Digerati. And they have been kind enough to provide me with a copy of this game for this review. Now, this is a very, very weird game when you first start it and it's described as a murder mystery card battler rpg so i'm trying to think of the best way to describe this so basically it's a who done it um a randomly generated who's done it so every game the murderer the way of the murder the murder weapon etc etc is all randomized and you're in this village and it's your job as the magister to find out who has committed this murder so that's the detective side of it so you go around you gather clues you talk to the people of the village and stuff and you sort of uh, discover their motives their alibis and stuff like that as you try and obviously find out who the guilty person is um so every time you play it's different so you have 14 days worth of in-game time to um to complete this so you, you've got like a time limit you've got to sort of do it as much as possible use your time well and stuff like that but then it also has like tactical card based encounters so you <laughs> as you're walking around you may get into a fight and you've got like a turn based combat where you've got like a um, Kind of reminds me of XCOM with the grid-based floor system for your movements and uh, sort of getting into position. But then you've got a card, sort of like a deck-building system, which you build up um, for your combat. So it's really weird, and it's sort of like, it doesn't sound like it's going to work, but it actually kind of does. It's really weird. Now, every time you play, um, obviously it's randomised. There's also different magisters you can choose from. Uh, there's a selection to choose from, and they've all got their own special abilities and like specialities and flaws. So like one of them is like cunning alcoholic, and the other one's like an intelligent insomniac and stuff like that. So all these things sort of add more variation to each of the games. So like as you're going around, like say you've got your your deck of cards. Uh, and you've got all these abilities and stuff like that, and like I say, you can you can either go like all out in combat and stuff, um, or you can sort of do the sort of discussion way, sort of like the the peaceful way. Let's use diplomacy to not fight and sort of calm your foes down and stuff like that. So you get like conversation cards, uh, and there's lots of conversation between the residents and stuff like that. You can call them out on all the bullshit and stuff. Um, it definitely, I've seen it uh, sort of described as sort of like a Ace Attorney light, and I totally see that um, in how it plays. Uh, where you're like, nah, shut up, mate. I don't believe you. you you've, and then you, at the end of the game, you've basically got to say who you think is guilty. Uh, and many times I got it wrong. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I, I, The first few, two or three times you'll play it, you'll be a bit lost. I, I The first time, I had no idea what I was doing. I sort of went into it, and I, I was totally baffled. And then every time I played it, I sort of got better and better and better. Um, you can like you can get mercenaries and spies and stuff to recruited to help you out. Um, <laughs> and you, you can even get... <laughs> You can like get a goat. <laughs> it goes into battle for you. It's absolutely fantastic. You can get like cats and dogs, but the goat is like the best <laughs> that I've got so far from this goat, and it starts fighting for you. It's amazing. So um, yeah, ten out of ten for the goat. It's funny as anything. But like I say, I, it's a very weird game. It's really hard to explain. Um, it's like I say, it's it's a randomized mystery every time, which I really liked. It keeps you coming back. There's also like side quests you do. Like obviously you've got the main quest to find out who's the killer, but like when you're talking to people, they want you to do things, and there's like side things to do. So it's like you can do them, but have you got time to do them and stuff like that? So it's a, it's like resource management trying to sort of juggle them. Um, sometimes I did feel quite lost in it, but like I say, as it's not a really long game each time. There's nothing to sort of worry about. It is so, I say short, it's not super short, but like each playthrough is quick enough that even if you get lost and you struggle, it's not that bad, basically. Um, but there's so, <laughs> it's so much to it. It may get a little repetitive to you, um, but honestly, I thought it was really good. The dialogue was well written, and 
honestly, it's really hard to explain. You've got to sort of um, figure out it out for yourself, and you've got to experience it because, like I say, there's so many different uh, types of play styles mixed into it, um, and there's so many different ways you can play it. Like either going like dipl- diplomatic way or sort of um, by force. Uh, you can keep going back and play it. You can play one game and then the next game, it's not even like you're playing the same game. And like I say, you can go in, you can talk to people, you can try and sort of find mistakes in what they're saying and work out what they're lying about and stuff, which I think is really, really cool as well. And you, like I say, you, you also get XP and stuff like that and level up. So it's it's crazy how much there is to do in this game. Now, this game, like I say, it is out right now. It's uh, on Xbox One and Xbox Series X and S via backwards compatibility. It is only single player, but it's only priced at £12.49 in the UK. It is also available, I believe, on Steam and Switch for definite. Um, So check it out. I mean, if you like card-based games or if you like sort of... uh, murder mystery style games where you're having to sort of discover things and sort of unmask the the murderer you'll probably really enjoy this and if you want to play a game where every time you play it it's different this is something for you basically and like i say i i didn't know what to go in expecting this when i first read it i saw it was like a, a, a card battling game and when i actually played it it wasn't like the card battling game I was expecting it to be. I was expecting it to be more like a story game and there was just battles after battles, basically. And it's not like that at all. It's it's a proper sort of randomly generated uh, murder mystery in this nice little village. And like I say, every time you talk to people, it every time you, it changes. And so the replayability is there as well. So check it out. I highly recommend it. 12 49 on the Xbox Store. And it's out right now. And like I say, if you've enjoyed this video, check out our others for gaming news, reviews, and we do our weekly podcast every Saturday or thereabouts, 8pm UK time. And we'll see you soon for more videos. Bye for now.